Happy we are in the kitchen with Miss Allison Davis here at Wild Time. Hey. Now, we're going to be talking about, of course, right now is back to school time for all the back parents, to the kids, school. everybody. I have a fourth grader. Oh, I don't even know what to do. I know. She's adorable, too. Oh, I thank have a, you. What, second, I have a second grader and a sixth grader this oh. year. So, yeah, it's kind of crazy for us. Us moms all emotional over here. Exactly. <laughs> oh, I'm a mess. But, um, but the nice thing is, is that you have some great ideas for back to school lunches yeah, for the kids. It seems right. like that's even an issue at our house, and I mean, I'm a professional, and, and it's still difficult to come up with new ideas, new things to, like, send them with their lunches, besides right. just, like, a sandwich, fruit, some exactly. vegetables, exactly. and maybe some hummus, you know, so mm -hmm. it's, it's hard, and so that's what I'm trying to do this week, is just uh, give you some different ideas, some fresh uh healthy options uh -huh. uh, for your kids back to school lunches. Okay, great. So this one I have made for years with kids and this is called, we call it Fushi. Fushi? Yeah, okay. so it's like sushi but it's fake. Um, it doesn't have the rice or a raw fish, um, but it is, it's fun and this is something the kids can also participate in. Uh -huh. So if you would, go ahead and start rolling out this piece of bread. Okay. So I take a rolling pin with white bread or um, in this case I like the oatmeal bread and we're going to roll it nice and thin so that it is pliable and we can kind of work with it a little bit. And then I have some boars and cheese. I like the boars and cheese or goat cheese even if the kids can do goat cheese. This boarzen is great because it has like herbs and um, garlic and some flavor in it. Yeah. Um, but it's spreadable. What? So instead of having to, you know, let your cream cheese come to room temperature or whip it, um, this is already soft enough that you can just spread it on. It's spreading really right. nice. Right, and you don't have to use, um, some schools are peanut free or nut free. Exactly, so that's you a big might, challenge Yeah, too. you might not want to use peanut butter on this, but you could if, if, you, if you're allowed to. Yeah. But this is totally safe for anybody. So this is that boars and cheese, and we're just spreading it on the bread. Okay. And then, you can go ahead and do yours. Yep. And I typically, I mean, you know how kids are, let's cut the crust. Cut the crust <laughs> off. <laughs> let's go ahead and cut that crust <laughs> off of your bread. Um, Right. And then I'm going to start to add some of our vegetables. So I have cut um, some uh, peppers. I've got some carrots, some celery, some cucumbers. Fine. Um, I'm going to switch you knives because okay. real quick, um, I'm just going to show you how I would cut the vegetable. Okay. Um, typically, I will give it a flat side. Uh huh. And then we can turn that over so it won't roll so around. So rolling. I and learned then that you from can you, cut Allison. another flat side, <laughs> and then we can start to cut some planks. So then you just have the same thickness on your planks. Okay. So that you just have these nice pieces of cucumber. Yeah. And then we can go back and we can cut those nice even strips. Ah, and okay. And that's basically how you're going to prep all of those. Um, and then the celery you can just cut straight through to give you some nice even strips. Gotcha. But this is going to help to make everything even. Uh -huh. And then a little bit of leftovers you can definitely have for... Um, just to go in a bag, you know, so that they can have it maybe with, say, some hummus on right, the side. Right, just kind of munch on it. Um, all right, so I'm just going to stack a little bit. I've got the cucumber, the celery, the um, carrots. You could also add avocado in this. Um, and Very then nice. we're just going to take this guy and gently just kind of roll it up. Wow. Right? Right. See how we have that? Yeah. And then we're going to cut our... It looks like our fake sushi. I love it. So kids really get into presentation and they really, you know, if it looks good and appealing to their eyes, they're more apt to eat, you know, things that maybe they wouldn't just on its own. Right, like if I right. handed this to my daughter, she'd be like, eh. Ugh. But then if we cut it up, and especially if we have it in something fun like this in their lunchbox, exactly. um, they're probably going to enjoy that a lot more. Now, do I lay those all the way across or just I halfway? I typically stack them at the bottom, okay. and then we'll just start to roll those guys together. All right. So then I just roll it, and we're good to go, mm -hmm. huh? Yeah, you just have to be gentle. This bread's a little soft. Oh, just not like, um, like ham fest it like I just did? <laughs> yeah, so, and then, but you will notice that it starts to get a little more pliable as you roll it. Yeah. yeah. See? And so these can be made even like a day before, and they're good to go. Awesome. Well, thank you so much. I love this recipe. And if you love this recipe, go to our website at WTVQ.com forward slash Midday Kentucky. Go to the Recipes tab, or you can go to Allison's website at WildTimeCooking.com. We will be right back right after this.